see some numericals on the vulcanization here uh, see without knowing the vulcanization and uh, the structure of the rubber that they mentioned we unable to solve this problem you cannot solve this okay that is why we are emphasizing again and again we need to remember some of the basic structures so how much sulfur is required for 100 kg of the final product here one thing you need to remember this is a final product they are talking about okay final product uh, final rubber product to completely completely cross link the butadiene rubber to completely cross link butadiene rubber okay so here butadiene rubber we have taken and uh, we using the vulcanization we are forming the final product okay so what is the vulcanization here vulcanization we need to take two two monomers of the butadiene two into butadiene 2 into butadiene plus 2 sulfur then it will form a final rubber okay final rubber this thing you need to remember if you don't know that there is a 2 butadiene and 2 sulfur then you cannot solve this problem okay so again now what is the butadiene formula that you need to understand here so butadiene ch double bond ch and again here ch 2 or 3 this is a 2 why because here also CH2 here see if I take only the butadiene then I can keep CH3 also but here it is a polybutadiene and you need to remember in the vulcanization what is happening see for example here I have a one main chain like this and a another main chain like this so vulcanization is nothing but the cross linking between these two main chains for example sulfur is coming and sitting between these two and uh, somehow it is uh, joining like this okay okay so that means here i am taking one monomer in a one more of in in one chain that is why it is a uh, like this okay and uh, another monomer in uh, another chain here the sulfur is uh, joining the two monomers of the butadiene those are not in the same link but in a different link okay sometimes it may possible in the same link for example it is a crisscrossing and coming this there then it can form okay but generally we will take like this two two butadienes okay so ch here also ch double bond and ch2 so these are two molecules of butadiene and i am adding to sulfur then what is the final reaction that i am uh, getting here so here ch2 then here c here h here single bond why because the double bond is uh, you know broken here to form the sulfur to make a you know the sulfur bonding here also c here c here it is forming bond like this and here also forming bond like this here ch2 and uh, this is the complete this is the what final one this is the final one this is the final okay so here if you observe what is happening here is there any carbon or hydrogen uh, got displaced during the process no there is neither carbon nor hydrogen removed or added to the butadiene original butadiene so, but only thing is two sulfurs are added okay so in that process first i will see you know what is the weight of uh, these two molecules so the weight of the two molecules two into what is the weight of one molecule how many carbons are there one two three four four into twelve plus how many hydrogens are there uh, two plus two four five six six into one so this is a 48 plus six so how much uh, 54 so two into 54 that means it is a 108 see this together this together this together 108 i need to take this together and uh, what is the sulfur atomic weight that is a 32 okay you need to remember this uh, from 1 to 20 you need to buy heart the atomic number and atomic weight otherwise without knowing this you cannot you know uh, solve in the examination so here 2 into 32 that equal to 64 okay gram per mole or whatever you can write whatever you need and here what is happening the same this is simply the addition okay 
this is the simply addition of these uh, two so 108 plus 64 how much 108 plus 64 172 okay 172 so here what is happening if i take 108 kgs of the two butadienes and uh, if i add 64 kgs of the sulfur to it then i am producing finally 172 kgs of the final rubber okay but here in the exam uh, problem what is given the 100 kg is produced finally in of 172 100 kg is produced in that case what is the sulfur that is formed here okay it is a simple promo proportion formula so that means 6 by x by 64 equal to 100 by 172 that implies x equal to 64 by 172 into 100 okay so um, if i you know uh, cancel with the uh, four then uh, how much it will become one one and uh, six four into six twenty four okay and here uh, four and uh, forty three okay so if it if i take 160 and 43 how many times you know three into four is uh, 120 3 times 40 is 120 and 4 times 40 is 160 that means it can go only 3 times here so 0 0.3 or 100 is there so you can directly write it 3 times it is going and next time if you do it will go 7 times so whatever approximately the answer is 37 you can choose from the options okay so here uh, option C is correct in this case option c is correct so 37 cages so here the final product is uh, you know uh, mentioned here so instead of that what happens if he mentioned like a uh, hundred cages of the butadiene is considered then how much sulfur is needed if mentioned like that then how to do that what is given instead of giving hundred cages for the final i will mention something like a uh, the hundred cages for the you know this butadiene i have taken 100 kgs of the butadiene then how much sulfur is needed or i can something like i can write like this 100 kgs of butadiene is taken then how much final product is you know uh, how much final product is produced okay how much final product for the 100 kgs for example how much sulfur is needed then in that case x equal to 64 divided by 164 divided by uh, see here x by 64 divided by 100 by 108 100 divided by 108 okay this is how we need to calculate how much we need for example if we calculate this product then y by 172 equal to 100 divided by 108 okay from this you can calculate y so based on that you can easily see this is a simple proportion but only here the logic is you need to remember there are two sulfurs you know that are participating in the reaction and here also two monomers that we need to you know consider here while forming that and we need to remember this you know uh, structure also otherwise it is difficult to solve in the problem all of us solve in the examination all of us okay